the title of the work is A Cast of Falcons, and the really interesting and funny thing about that is, of course, we know that there's a gaggle of geese and a herd of horses, and I couldn't figure out a title for the work, and I looked it up, and it turns out that a group of falcons is called a cast, a cast of falcons, and it just resonates, of course, because you have a cast of characters in a movie, you have a cast of actors in a performance, and so here you have a cast of falcons. The falcons are hooded for practical reasons, because they would fight, because they're predators. But they're also hooded because I was very interested, and always very interested, am very interested, in the way human beings curb and contort and distort the natural. So putting this strange and beautiful medieval hood on a bird is striking both in terms of meaning, but also visually. The Cast of Falcons is a complicated piece because there's a lot of references in it. One is the reference to Egyptian mythology and the Egyptian god Horus, who has the body of a man and the head of a falcon. His right eye is the sun and his left eye is the moon. And so a cast of falcons has the sun tinted blue and the moon tinted yellow at either end, bracketing and framing the images of the birds themselves. I'm interested in all kinds of places where human beings have used animals to explain the world to themselves. <laughs> 